Greetings, folks. Ah, let's have a light-hearted one. Um, let me fix my windows. Uh -huh. Um, let me see. Make sure I have everything right. Yes. Um, okay. So let's have a, a light-hearted one. And uh, first, just enjoy the black screen because. Uh, uh, I ain't showing my face um, for no reason. Just you know, it's been hot, and I don't really want to. I want to uh, screen share other stuff. But first, I'll, I'll say this: um, remember the good old days for the guys out there, especially. Remember the good old days when you would play football at school or play football with your pals after school. And sometimes there would be that one guy that was friends with another guy or another couple of guys that was, well, rubbish at football. And for the Americans, I'm talking about soccer. There'd always be, well, this one guy who was determined to play football with you, even though he was crap at it. And whether he got picked onto your side or onto the other it didn't really matter because if he was on your side you would just not pass the ball to him and if he was on the other side and the ball was passed to him when he was playing against you he would just kick it out of bounds or just fall over it or something so that's in the good old days you know <laughs> And in this world of flat earth and globe earth, there are folks like that, you know, around. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I'm talking about. Just give me a second, because I've just uh, messed up my windows. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Right. <clears throat> Where am I? Where am I? Here I am. Okay, so... Sorry, folks, by the way, I can't see the chat. So you have to forgive me if I can't say hello to you all individually because I, I can't see it. I'm doing this. So I'm going to do this so you can see my cursor. Let's go here to this comment that I left. And uh, I'm going to read it to you. And then I'm going to play you what I've highlighted, the, you know, time stamped. No, in fact, I'll do it the other way around. I'll play it and then we'll read the comments. So listen very carefully. This person <laughs> is apparently a former flat earther. He was a guy who couldn't play football. Listen very carefully. You might think that the audio has gone. It hasn't. There's just a very long pause. So listen. Do you know what optical drop is? Let me play that again. Turn the volume up. Listen. Do you know what optical drop is? I know what optical drop is, but I'm asking. Uh, that long pause tells me maybe he didn't know what optical drop is. Let's listen one more time. Do you know what optical drop is? I know what optical drop is, but... Uh, okay. Does he really know what optical drop is? <clears throat> Well, let's listen. After he has it explained to him with one of his own images, this is what he says. Listen. Okay, well, optical drop's a new one on me. Uh, that's something I've never heard um, before. But uh, I will say that uh, I don't know how it applies. In yeah, he doesn't know how it applies. So let's listen again. Okay, well, optical drop's a new one on me. Uh, that's something I've... Yeah, yeah. It's a new one on him. After, listen. Do you know what optical drop is? 
I know what obstacle drop is, but... I don't think so. So, now let's read the comments. Do you know what optical drop is? Long pause. I know what optical drop is. Later, after having it demonstrated with his very own image, well, optical drop is a near one on me. That's one I've never heard before, but I don't see how it applies. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. That's because you didn't know what it was until a few seconds earlier. <sighs> now, this is my comment, and it's true. I always knew that guy was a not very bright fraud since the day I met him. Told him he was getting sunburnt. He was already bright red by the time I met him. On the beach with a bunch of other flat earthers. To which he replied that he doesn't burn in the sun. Like, well, my eyes are telling me that you're bright red, dude. I think you are burning, but never mind. Then, days later, went on to make videos explaining that his lobster red skin had been caused by chemtrails. Not by that big bright thing in the sky known to burn skin. No, chemtrails. So, well done winning that guy over to your side. <laughs> and that's the conspiracy cat. <sighs> now let's move on to this. And I, I'm playing this for uh, educational purposes. So, if the guy that made this video flags it, it's because he's a bit embarrassed. And doesn't want other people to see what I'm going to show. But if you want to watch the whole video, it's uh, by Blueprint. Okay, Flat Earth learns a lesson, uh, sorry, Flat Earther learns a lesson about refraction. Wonderful. Yeah, that uh, black swan thing, remember. Okay, so, so let's brush up on Snell's Law and, and things like that. This is the material boundary, dense medium on bottom. Here is the normal line. This is Snell's Law. Light entering a dense medium bends toward the normal line. Light exiting a dense medium bends away from the normal line. Gucci, Gucci. Here is an object obscured by the horizon. Here is that same scenario, now with air in a density gradient. Have we got that? You know, the light blue and the slightly darker blue. That's, you know, increasing density. Okay. Each time, light behaves according to Schnell's law. Each time. Okay, so each time. Okay. Each time, light behaves according to Snell's law. Very good. Clearly bends light along the curvature of the Earth. Wait, did you hear that? Let's, let's play that again. Light behaves according to Snell's law. Clearly bends light along the curvature of the Earth. Snell's law bends light around the curvature of the Earth, and that's why you can see Japan from California, right, Globelings? Because light just bends around the curvature. Or maybe it doesn't really. And raises the image slightly. What, what? So, the light from the base of this platform goes towards the lighter medium and to the giant. Very good. Hey, hey, uh, question. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me just go back. <laughs> Replay that whole bit. It's very good. <sighs> no boundary, dense medium on bottom. Here is the normal line. This is Schnell's law. Light entering a dense medium bends toward the normal line. So light entering a dense medium bends towards the normal. Very good. That's light going from lighter to denser medium. From lighter to denser medium towards normal. Okay. Light exiting a dense medium bends away from the normal line. Got it. Have we all got it? I trust we have. Okay. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci. Here is an object obscured by the horizon. Very good. Here is that same scenario, now with air in a density gradient. Oh, very good. It looks like a completely normal situation, like, like normal, you know, density kind of denser at the bottom and less dense higher up looks kind of normal although it does at times invert literally invert but oof, that gets a bit complicated for the globe beings because then gravity seems to have failed because you have more dense above less dense 
Oh, and then things get inverted and it all goes wrong for the globe. But never mind, let's continue. Each time, light behaves according to Schnell's law. Each time, light behaves according to Snell's law. In the case of the red arrow, you have light from a denser medium moving into a lighter medium. Clearly bends light along the curvature of the Earth and raises the image slightly. What, what? Very good. Now, what about the light from the lighter medium? Where does that light go? He forgot that. See, that's why I said that, that I've called this. Sometimes it's just stupidity. See, he's shown this and it's like, okay, yeah, that seems perfectly fine. Sure, sure. What about the other light? What about the other structure? What about the rest of the structure that's in a lighter medium? So, bear with me. Like so, see? I've added this green arrow, these green lines, see? So the light from the lighter medium bends towards the normal and towards the denser medium, see? And therefore at the end you get, well, an inverted platform, see? is following the same Snell's law and this is by the way what actually happens when you actually have an inverted mirage see but he forgot to add the green line the silly dim dim he forgot about all light behaves according to Snell's law see he forgot that bit so I've added it there you go you got light going from very light medium into slightly denser medium and then into denser still see and moving towards the normal the normal in this case would be like a line like this and that line would be the normal and this one would be towards the normal and that would be away from the normal okay now let's see what's this oh look here I have a, a kind of drawing with curvature and with what light must be doing. Over on the right hand side, I've got a little red dash and a blue cone. That's showing the camera. Okay, so whatever rays of light fall into that cone can be captured by the camera. If they do not reach that cone, they cannot be captured by the camera. So, in the bottom, we have light curving around the curvature of the Earth, like he said happens, you know, and that's why you can see Japan from California. <laughs> or Africa from Brazil. Yeah. Now, so it, it curves along the surface of the Earth, and that's why it's captured. And when uh, there's... Mm, Density variants, variants, <laughs> sorry. Um, well, then it bends down into the denser medium. See, so these lines are bending down in respect to the curvature. Okay, these are bending down and then bending up away. So here they bend down towards the denser medium and here mysteriously away from the denser medium to be captured by the camera. In this case, the camera would only catch the light of, well, the top two blocks over here on the left. See? The green and pink. Not the red. See? Because it's blocked by the curvature of the Earth. Whereas in the bottom one, all of the lines reach the camera because they're, well, hugging the, the surface of the Earth. You know, like he said. Okay. Now, this would be the situation on a flat earth kind of normal conditions you would have well light going in straight lines along the curve the, sorry the this flat surface of the earth just uh, straight from the object to the camera and the camera would receive 
the lights from the pink and the green and the orange. See the lines? They're all being received by the cone of the camera. But when there's a density gradient with increasing density lower down, then the lines bend down. Can you see the bend down? And here, only the green and the pink would be captured by the camera, and the bottom of the camera would be capturing, well, ocean, if these blocks were representing a platform up to sea. The bottom of the, the, the frame would just be oceans, and then there'd be, well, structure, but not the bottom of the structure, because the light from the bottom of the structure has bent down. Now, as flat earthers, the, the flat earthers that have common sense, we realise that globe believers don't fully understand the concept of up and down. They believe that there's no up and down in space because the earth is in space. There isn't really an up and down. It's all just a convention. We just say up, you know, it's upstairs and we point up because that's kind of the direction in which upstairs is. But somebody in Australia pointing up is pointing literally in the opposite direction. See, that kind of, they, they, they get all cafuddled. So, <sighs> this would be an image of, well, platforms out to sea, where you can see the bottom of the whole thing. And this one's much farther away than that one. And uh, the bottom of none of them should be visible. But according to the globe, let me see where it is. According to the globe, nope, this one. According to the globe, this is what must have happened. No moving into any gradient, no shifting gradients at all, simply hugging the curvature of the earth. See? There's no going into any denser or lighter medium, we can see the platforms, we can see the bottom of the platforms, so they must be hugging the surface of the earth. Okay. So that's this. And with this one, where you can't see the bottom of this one over here, in fact, you can't even see the bottom of this one with the let's let's see with the globe earth what must be happening is the top scenario here see the cone of the camera is capturing ocean and then the top of the most distant uh platform see there not the bottom no see the bottom has bent down into the denser medium and then after having bent into the denser medium the light has then bent away from the denser medium and that's why we can see well the top of the platform but i'll remind you if i still have it is it here yes that according to what the gentleman in the video explained when he showed this red arrow, after having said all light uh, obeys Snell's law, that there's also the light from the lighter medium bending into the denser medium, which would render an upside down platform. And we see that this is not an upside down platform and Neither is this one. And sometimes it really is just stupidity. The guy who made the video, where's the video? Uh, um, this guy, okay. He doesn't realize he's stupid. Guys, you should go and watch some of the physics videos. Um, uh, what's she called? Uh, Josephine Hess 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 Hesselfelder? Um, brilliant, she makes short videos talking about the problems in physics. <laughs> and you should see the comments. Some of the globe believers, they're all globe believers, they're like, 
Well, I'm not stupid, but I don't understand what you're saying. They actually say things like that. You know, well, I'm not stupid, but I'm having difficulties keeping up with what you're saying. <laughs> like, um, okay, what was the part of it about not being stupid? Why did you put that in? What did you, did you kind of need to say it so that you'd hear it <laughs> from somewhere? So the fella, we're going to play this video again, who played that video, who made this video to debunk flat earthers, is forgetting what he's actually discussing. So we're going to play it again. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. This is the material boundary. Okay. So we're going to play it again, and then I'm going to say goodnight. Having just seen what I've just shown, okay, you can replay the video. I made those little illustrations for you guys. <laughs> All the hard work I go into. So, just take in what he's saying. It's correct. What he's saying is correct, apart from the bits that are based on belief, like lines curving around the curvature of the earth, which you'll hear him say now that I've pointed it out for the like, fourth time. So listen, light really does bend into the denser medium. If the denser medium is below, then it bends down. But if the denser medium is above, which does happen, then it bends up. But you can't draw that on a curved surface. So they don't draw it on a curved surface. Dense medium on bottom, here is the normal line. This is Schnell's law. Light entering a dense medium bends toward the normal line. Light exiting a dense medium bends away from the normal line. Gucci, Gucci. Here is an object obscured by the horizon. Here is that same scenario, now with air in a density gradient. Each time, light behaves according to Schnell's law. Clearly bends light along the curvature of the Earth and raises the image slightly. What, what? Bends the light along the curvature of the earth hmm see the problem with this is that if he was going to show it in a way that would replicate the image i should have done this already he would show well he would show what i was showing a minute ago he would show actually no i'll do it with the cursor he would show this part staying along the same part of the density gradient all the way to the camera. The middle staying along the middle all the way, curving around the surface of the earth but not changing any boundaries in terms of density. And the top doing the same, going around. But that doesn't work, does it? If he did that, it, tell you what, I would do it right now. Just give me a second. Everything might go wrong, but it might not. I'll do it right now. Mm -mm -mm. Just bear with me. Is it this one? Nope. Sorry. Is it this one? Nope. That's the one I had before. There you go. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Just bear with me, folks. It won't take me long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw the lines. Okay. In order to show what the image showed, because you see, this is why it, you, you. Please say this on board. The majority of the world is retarded. And the majority of the world is globe believing. Okay. We can see, folks, all in this pandemic, we can all see that the vast majority of the world is tarded. As they say in uh, uh, Idiocracy. In order for this image to be captured by a camera at the end, the camera would have to be very high off the ground. But the camera was not very high off the ground. In order for this to be going on, you know, lights going into the lighter medium, the camera would have to be, well, quite a distance from the ground, and it wasn't. Instead, what was captured at the ground was the whole thing. 
the whole platform. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw lines to, well, mm -mm, the point where the camera was. There's a nice green one. Now let's do a blue one. Da -da -da. <sighs> Hope you can see them well enough. Like so. And now a nice, uh, yeah, orange, why not? Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Like so. But you see, that's not really obeying Snell's law in any way. That's simply, well, curving along with the curvature of the Earth, not due to any Snell's law. No, not, not due to anything, just... Well, because light is subject to gravity too. Apparently, must be, if it's curving over the surface of the Earth, like the curving oceans. See? But now, the Dim Dim thought that by putting a red arrow saying, Look, see, it goes into a lighter medium. Forgetting things like where the camera was situated, which was not hundreds of metres up in the air. It was on the ground. And the, there's also light from the part of the platform that's in the lighter medium, captured by the camera, which was in the denser medium. So the light must have gone from the lighter medium into the denser medium in order to be captured by the camera, which would render an inverted image. But the image is not inverted. Have we got that? Okay. And with that, I'm going to bid you all a very good uh, rest of the evening or rest of the day. Okay. Bye, folks.